Welcome to the succulent home guys. And I'm excited because today I'm going to redo this bird bath right here. You guys see me do it before. I did it at my old house. I loved it. I loved how it turned out. I spray painted it black and I turned this bird bath into a succulent arrangement. And so today, now that I moved back here, I got some extra time and I want to elevate this bird bath to a more whimsical feeling by adding a teapot, a candle abra, some little odds and ends that I had around the house. Sometimes when you move, you just throw things in a box thinking, I'll just sort it out when I get there. That's kind of what I did with some of my stuff. And I'm not gonna use it inside the house. So instead of just tossing it out, I'm gonna repurpose it and create what I've been wanting to create, which is a whimsical succulent garden arrangement here in my new backyard. So stay tuned, follow me as I show you how I turn this bird, Plano bird bath into something that takes your imagination to another place. Go get your stuff and let's do it together. Go, go. This is the bird bath that I'm gonna be revamping and I'm gonna be using this teapot right here, um, this candle abra thing. I just placed these on here. That's not where it's gonna go. I'm probably gonna incorporate that little angel because I think that it adds a little bit of a whimsical feeling. It goes with the teapot. And um, I'm going to put the Eiffel Tower just right there. I think it adds some height and it helps, you know, this whole area right here. I'm excited because um, I'm going to be repurposing this. The succulents that I'm gonna to use today are the ones that I picked up from the 99 cent store. I feel like this is a different variety, an array of just different succulents that I can add to this bird bath turned succulent arrangement and I feel like they're small enough that it'll give it some time they won't grow too quickly but they'll add a different variety to this whole thing so stay tuned comment below which one's your favorite so I'm gonna just toss all of this out because I knew it had millibug problems I'm not even gonna keep the soil I don't even want to treat it at this point. I'm just, it is what it is. Now you can choose if you're going to do a project like this to keep it all. Me, I'm okay with not. If you stay on top of your millibug problem, you won't have to do this. As you can see, it's really shallow. It's not too deep at all. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray my organicide. Organicide I got from Lowe's. It's just an organic Um, chemical, well, it's not even a chemical, it's organic. So it's just a product that kind of um, just kills all the millibugs, scales, any other kind of bugs without like harming your plants or little kids if you have any. This is just me peeling off paint, you guys. So I'm spraying it really good so I can add the rocks and the soil. You saw that stuff chipping, so I'm gonna go ahead and just chip off a little bit more of this. Might as well.
Just the part that I know is lifting. I'm not going to respray it black. I'm just going to leave it like this. So now that I cleared it all out, I'm going to go ahead and just add some rocks to the bottom. This is just some pebble rocks. This will just help it because there is no drainage holes. This will help it. with the soil and the water. I'm going to add the soil now, just on top. Also going to be adding charcoal. Those of you who don't know, I've been experimenting with charcoal. It's supposed to help with just like the soil from souring, the water from souring, from there being a stench. Also, um, it helps with um, the water drainage as well. So, so far so good. I've been doing okay with it. Just wanna mix it around a little bit. Okay. So now I'm gonna just put more soil. Of course, I don't want the charcoal to really be seen, so I'm gonna cover it up here. I love to do projects like this because one, it's a good way of upcycling stuff that you've already have around the house without having to buy anything new. But also, it's a good way to be creative and let your creativity come out, you know? So, you don't know if it's in you until you start. And then a lot of us weren't born with it. You know, some people are just, some things just come real natural to them. And then a lot of us, the more practice, the more time we put in, the more it just comes, it just comes to us. It just starts developing that creator's eye. If you're at home and you're watching me do this, don't hesitate to do something around the house potting along with me so I'm not alone. Or hey, if you're like me, you like to binge watch on some of your favorites and fold clothes at the same time. Either way, I hope it's motivating you. Okay. Making sure that I'm mounding it. Why? Because as you can see, it was shallow. So I wanna make sure, especially on the sides, I'm okay if this part's a little bit flatter because I'm gonna put 
that um, candle auger right here. So this I'll wanna just pack flat because I know that's where I want it. And I don't want, no one's really gonna see back here so I'm not gonna like do too much to like um, anything right here. So it's okay, it's not gonna be because the wall's right behind it. This is the soil I got from a nursery. It's called EB um, Stone Organics. It's a really good soil I've been liking so far. If I show you a little close, you see all the just different minerals and bark and perlite that's in here, which makes it good to use here too because you need the extra drainage. So I'm mounding it. Okay, now let's get on to the creativity. So this is a candle abra that I found around my house that I got years ago for a housewarming party in the first house we ever bought. And um, I just love it, I never got rid of it. And it, because it's iron, it's perfect for the backyard. It just really is. So, just gonna add a little, do you see how like, I don't know if you can see, but in here, there's a little bit of a hole. Let me move you closer. In here is a hole. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna fill that part up with soil. Why? Because I'm probably gonna put a couple of succulents like as if they're coming out. I'll do something. So I'm gonna fill that up. And mind you, this, this design can change. That's why you can't, um, I've said it before, don't take yourself so seriously. When you're doing something, don't like get, you know, get disappointed if it doesn't flow the way it is. You know, when you're an artist and you're trying to be creative, I'm saying we're artists, we are, um, things might change and that's okay. Just go with the changes. Just go with the changes. I always never work with gloves and then I get poked by um, bark and stuff. Okay, so I want this to be seen, the base of it. So I think that's cute. So I'm just gonna dust this off. For right now, add the rest right there. You know, and you're, it's, you're probably like, how come you just don't use um, gloves? But sometimes it's so hard. I'm gonna sprinkle right now, as we're going, cinnamon, guys. Cinnamon is a defungal fungus, fungi um, treatment, just plain old cinnamon that you can use for um, any arrangement kind of, you know, mix it in there. Go like this, mixing it in, mixing it in, mixing it in. I'm also going to be adding a few drops of peroxide. Why? Because that will kill any, anything that's any kind of bacteria. And I'm just taking the extra mile um, doing all this because the arrangement that was in here before 
did have did have um, Millie bugs like on the leaves. I didn't see anything on the soil, but I wasn't gonna mess around. I'm not playing around. Now I'm just gonna add just a couple of capfuls of peroxide to the soil. Peroxide just kills any kind of bacteria. It does help against Millie bugs. Just good old fashioned peroxide. And I'm just going to mix it around. So not only does it have the cinnamon, the charcoal, and now um, this peroxide in it, it I believe it's really going to help all the succulents that I do add. And then if for some reason the succulents that I got that I'm going to use in here that I picked up from the 99 cent store will adjust and whatever might be on them will kill, help kill. <laughs> whatever's on them let's at least that's the hope right guys okay also can't forget the middle section don't want to forget that section either Now I wanna draw your eye to the top part. Before we add any succulents and I see where I want or what I want, I wanna show you kind of what my idea was up here. Now I already cut a um, hole, as you can see, a little slice right here. Was able to do that with one of my husband's tools. It's easy to do this, add some water and then just have the drill and just do it, go to town. So this gives um, some drainage to whatever I put in here. Now, this actually had a chip in it. As you can see, it's right here. Because some of you might be like, why are you using this? It's so pretty. Well, there's a chip and I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> so I was thinking of putting it right here. I was gonna put it up here on top, just like that. So it just adds a little bit more height. And because there's a drainage, I can go ahead and add some succulents to the top. Let me show you what that would look like. So see how from right here, right here I could do some succulents right here coming out, spilling. And then I could have something right here and another thing right here. And then I'd probably try to act like glue something that goes all the way down. And it adds some more height to this area, which I'm not mad at, or I, and, I'm, and I like. Or I can tilt it even up here, as you can see. I'll have to glue it really good right here, and then have it like as if it's spilling over. So many decisions, so many decisions. I could even turn it around this way where you don't see the chip. Glue it on here as if it's spilling over. Then you don't even see the chip when it's like that. So many decisions. So I'm well, trying to play around. I have this right here. Instead of leaving it like that, because it just tilts it inwards, I'm thinking of flipping it upside down like that, putting the cup right here. And then I could have this still like that and do something where something drips off right here drips off maybe goes into have an angel at the bottom and then I place the other angel right there so and then I'm thinking because I want to use the lid maybe just glue the lid something like this right there I think it looks pretty cute I could even put a succulent right in here on top a little baby something yeah so I think Pretty much, that will look cute. So let's start gluing.
Okay, you guys, no way could I have recorded it all. I'm sweating, I'm hot. This was pretty much a whole half a day project. Thank God for the weekends, right? We're able to get the things done that we've been wanting to get done for a very long time. Now, check this out. I did it, I finished it, and I want you to see it. Please don't be mad that all of the details weren't in the video. You guys, my phone was starting to overheat. I couldn't record, my battery was running um, low and I had to just shut it off, but I didn't want to lose momentum, so I kept on going. But I hope you appreciate um, the beginning and now the grand finale. Here it is, guys, the grand finale. So I just did this small section right here. As you can see, it looks like an arrangement underneath, underneath the C. So on top of the bird bath, you can see all of the flowers, well, the succulents that I put in here. And in between, I put the moss with the glass and rock. The angel below catching the water drops that are dropping from the teacup from the teapot you guys it's so cute i'm so happy with it it's not going anywhere i used gorilla glue and that other glue that e600 or something like that i'm not quite sure but you've seen it and i'm just so impressed with it I used all the 99 cent store succulents and some of the other ones I got from Lowe's. I covered all of the soil so you're not seeing it. It gives that whimsical look. And then down below, I covered the mounding. I mounted it with soil. So that's where you get the mounds and I covered it with those little pebble rocks because, you know, we just don't want to see any soil right here. And eventually I'll continue adding more rocks, different color rocks, why not, hey. I put some Kalanchoe that I got from Lowe's. You've seen that in a haul. I got those Echeverias right there, which I'm drawing a blank. The Aeoniums, those are the ones I got from the 99 cent store added that blue and what is that like a turquoise green sea glass on top just to continue with the whole under the sea look i threw in the mermaid the coral the white in the back that turquoise green in the front the blue starfish and the these are real starfish they're just dried out on each end, anchoring and each side, wanting it to be very cohesive. I don't know how much sun this gets when it's the hottest part of the day, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it because I do not want the succulents to fry, because if that's the case, I will cover them with some shade cloth. But, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. Until the next video, you guys, let's continue to motivate each other. God bless. Bye.